Hi, my name is Richard Bilderbeek. I'm going to show you how to write a function called is prime to determine if a number is prime in Python using this project that is set up using the standard unit test um, libraries in Python uh, put into um, uh, put into tests with the correct file structure. Um, so I've already cloned the repository, so it's on my computer. Um, so I just need to start an editor to get started coding and I need to find out where to put my code exactly. I won't talk much about the, the whole idea about about the structure, but I do see a file called test small and there's a file called small in there. So this is the source folder, yeah, source folder, p, f, m, p, whatever that means, small. And here are the tests. So that's this, the standard file structure. So I'm going to write a function called this prime to determine if a number is prime and my favorite test to start with is to uh, determine if it has documentation because documentation is great to start with because it forces you to write down what you're going to do. So I see that there are already a lot of tests and tests small um, and I like to follow the alphabet so is prime will be here and I just copy this like there's this um, there's this thing no, irrelevant what that means, I just copy it without thinking. It's prime. Test is prime. I also use Visual Studio Code because I like it. It's my favorite Python editor. So there's a problem here already. It says, yeah, I can't find this prime. That's completely correct. So at the top of the file, we have all the imports. There we also need to put is prime. Again, I follow the alphabet. It's prime. Then we have to see, do we need to do more? I guess we need to define the function somewhere, but th th this is great because it already has produced an error now. There, yeah, it can't do unit tests yet because its prime does not exist. So so let's uh, let's make that happen. So all right, so we're gonna define it here. Define is prime. It takes an input. And let's write down the documentation. Um, let's follow the structure I do above. I just look at it and, and uh, determine if x is prime. Returns true if x is an... So it needs to be an integer. Um, makes no sense to take the prime of 3.14, for example. Uh, so returns false if x is an integer that is not prime and raises a type error if x is not an integer. So it checks the input um, that makes sense. Whatever we put into it, it gives you a nice error message. And uh, let's see if the test already passes. So we go here. Test is prime. So now we can click here to, to run the test. That's, that's super nice. Passes. All right. Next, we're going to break it. And I think my favorite uh, second function to work with is if check if the input is correct. For that you use assert raise, uh, let, let's type it here, assert raises and what you do is there, th yeah, yeah, there are some arguments you have to put in. The first is what it should raise. Well in this case I want a type error. Now how to call, which function to call, which is, is prime and the third or fourth or fifth etc. argument are what you're going to put in. I'm I'm going to put in a string. So this should raise an error. Let's see. Look, uh, nice. This is great. It's not raised. Uh, type error not re raised by its prime. So we broke the code. Let's go fix it. So this is the function is prime if is instance. If it's not an instance, if it's not an integer, raise type error x must be an integer bah. so now is prime checks the input correctly let's see if the I just passed the test uh, I passed the test all right so now we're gonna do a cert false now we're now we're gonna do some some uh, some some more serious like like some more what what we want to achieve for example one is not a prime let's see if that that's already in Alright, that works. Um, so we're going to ignore it. But 2 is prime, so let's take a look. 
All right, and now we broke the code again. That's great. So we have to make sure that two is a prime. So um, for that, I'm already going to write the for loop. So what are we going to do? Of course, I can write if x equals two is if if the input is two, then return true. I can do that, but I think I can get away with writing the for loop now. For e in range two to x, so that it means let i loop from two to and excluding x. If x oh, uh, no no brackets. If x modulo i equals zero. So if it's if it's a proper divisor, return false. So for example, four can be divided by two. There's no remainder there. So. And if it passes all these tests, then the number is prime. Let's take a look if we already fixed the code now. And it's fixed. Nice. Let's see if we can break the code. Um, for example, 1 is not prime. Let's take a look. Alrighty. So here's, there's a problem here. Let's fix this as well. So apparently 1. And I think that's because we need to do some testing here already. If x is smaller than 2, return false. I think that's a good solution, like if it's below 2. So this, this part, this for loop, assumes it's 2 or more. Um, so maybe this works. Let's take a look. Bam! Fix it! Well, let's see if we can break it again. Um, for example, 9 is not a prime. Let's take a look. Does it work? Bam. That works nice. Um, but 11 is prime. Let's take a look if that works. Bam. So I've written my code. Um, next step is to, um, like, sometimes every time you do a, a TDD cycle, so I did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 TDD cycles, uh, you push to your repository. Um, I'm going to do that now. Um, git add dot git commit um, add is prime. So now I, I push to the repository so I can get to see what the GitHub actions are doing. So this is the repository again, and here are the actions are running. There are quite some actions that are running on the on this repository. Um, I'm not gonna wait until all of them have finished. Uh, you see, I work on the develop branch, so. For example, would I want to merge my code to master? Then I'm going to wait until all tests are finished. And then I make a pull request or a merge to master. But for this video, I'm not going to wait for that. I'm super happy. So I wish you a very good day. Bye.